I am on Patreon and Patreon is a platform where, where I will upload interesting videos where you can learn astrology. Connect with me on Patreon and we will grow and I will give you much more deep insights on Vedic astrology and a lot more secrets will be shared there. Aries Ascendant For Aries Ascendant, Venus will be in your first house. But you observe that as soon as Venus enters the sign of Aries, it encounters Sun and Jupiter. And while Venus moves forward in Aries, Jupiter shifts to Venus zodiac sign of Taurus. So on one side, definitely this is an expansion. You will feel very comfortable within your skin, your space. You will feel very connected with yourself. And uh, you will also see that the feedback of their of the spouse of the people around you will be for your own betterment the problem is that venus is getting combust and because this venus is getting combust along with the sun and along with the jupiter you need to be careful about a couple of factors number one you need to be careful about matters related to marriage you need to be careful about matters related to finance that you are not pushing yourself too hard you are not pushing yourself too much and uh, you are being polite, you are being humble. This is the time to go inward, do something that you like, follow your passion. But definitely this combustion and Sun and Venus conjunction can create relationship issues, can create ego problems. So keep your head down, lay low and respect everybody around you. And if some elderly is giving you some advice, take it very seriously. Taurus Ascendant. Now, the first thing that will happen is when Venus goes in your 12th house, is that Venus would want you to do things for you, would want to give up unnecessary toxic behavior, and it would, it would want you to fulfill your prarabdha. After all, it's your sixth lord going in your 12th house. This is a Vipreet Raj Yoga, which means that this is a kind of an emotional state of, of your mind that you would want to help others. But in order to help someone, you must have things in excess or surplus. If you are hungry, you can't share your food. Similarly, this Venus will encourage you to grow, to prosper, to become a bit bigger, better person. It would, it would want you to widen your horizon. And that is also the role of Jupiter, which will come in the first house on 1st of May. Now, this Venus will be combust. So the only thing is that you will not take care of your health. Ignoring your health is going to be the worst decision. Take care of your health. Otherwise, there will be mood swings. There will be financial problems, unnecessary expenses. Maybe you are doing it for your own enjoyment. You will throw money. Not good. Donate a certain amount of money for good and proper cause. And you will see that your ascendant is going to build over time. This is more like you have to reduce the load on you. Declutter your life. Clean your house. Clean your room every day. And uh, one good thing is iron your clothes every day, if possible. Clean your clothes by your own hand and uh, remove the dirt from your mind and body by absorbing all the positive energy. A lot of affirmation is needed. Crystal therapy, use rose quartz crystal, use a uh, white clear quartz crystal and meditate. And, and this is going to increase your emotions and it would want you to work more towards becoming a better person traveling to a foreign country, you willing to travel abroad, all this is very much possible. But because Venus is combust, and remember this Venus is combust because of a fourth Lord position, your desire may overtake any practical understanding. Be careful. Gemini. Now in case of Gemini Ascendant, Venus will move in Aries Zodiac sign in your 11th house. Now your 12th Lord, will be 12 places away. But similarly, Jupiter will move in your 12th house. Also for Gemini, Venus is important because it's your 5th Lord. Venus will be combust in your 11th house. So there will be some expectations problem uh, in your relationships. There will be problems in how you manage your love, love marriage, how you manage your romantic life, how you manage your relationship with your friends and family and the closed ones. 
you may get a lot of creative ideas but it will be overshadowed and overpowered by uh, maybe uh, you are overdoing something you are you are overworking you are you want to work hard you want to pump in creativity but it's too much so no sugar is good too much of it is going to cause a bad reaction in your health similarly you need to know your limits and this venus must correct itself using color so use of colors around you is going to be very important use of flowers around you fragrance around you is going to be very important well when venus is in the 11th house use of essential oil essential oils is also a way by which you can manage your day to day life manage your sleep this can also create problems with your elder siblings especially your elder sisters so be careful there this also means that you would want to invest some money which is good just see the practical side of it but don't sell something to invest into something cancer zodiac sign for you venus rules your 4th house your 11th house and this venus goes in the 10th house now this is good this is good but you will not like the money that you are being paid you would not like your compensation so this is one thing where you will be appreciated sun is very strong in the 10th house but while you are appreciated while you are gaining certain amount of recognition money is not parallelly increasing there can be uh, salary issues there can be promotion issues there can be bonus related issues recommendation is that go slow allow venus to come out of combustion sun is overpowering everything here and sun is your second lord your need of money can also drive your decisions related to your career which is not wrong but then you need to be very practical you may end up choosing something that you may not like later on so stay grounded and think positively when you are moving ahead we you will also observe that mars has entered your 9th house and mars is going to collide with rahu and this mars will be 11th from uh, sorry 12th from the position of venus venus is in the 10th house in aries mars is in pisces why this is important because mars is the lord of aries zodiac sign this means that you have more to lose than to gain if your decisions are wrong and are driven by your emotions if you are lacking something see do you really lack that resource or do you really need that thing or it is just a play of mind sinh lagna leo ascendant for you venus is also very important venus rules your uh, 10th house venus rules your third house so see very lot of activity is going on around this venus and this venus goes in 9th house enabling you to learn more enabling you to travel more but sometimes i know it all attitude my way or highway attitude will result into you losing friends losing partners losing guru you might ignore guidance and you might be the obstacle for your own life yes this can be countered by other planet we are only focusing on one angle of venus but if you are extracting energy from venus that means if you are in venus related career if you are in a relationship right now if you are about to get married control your point of view control your eagerness to solve the problem Con don't be a uh, if you want to take control control yourself not the external but the internal meditation pranayam going to a satsang praying to ma mahalakshmi are some of the ways by which you can easily manage when venus goes into aries aries is a fiery zodiac sign but definitely this is going to inf- increase your desire but you should know that your desire should be as per dharma going to a religious pilgrimage is a very good way of handling this venus transit Virgo for Virgo Venus rules your 9th house and 2nd house so it rules your knowledge it rules your finances this Venus goes in the 8th house basic thing invest more uh you will also see that your expenses future expenses will drive your decision of investment nothing wrong in this but when you are investing something try to expand that expand your savings because this is the time when you should focus more on blocking the money rather than allowing the money to set free block the money in park somewhere see profitable ventures instruments of investment talk to your financial advisor because this is not the time to you know spend this is the time to keep the money at rest uh maybe certain investment policies maybe certain insurance policies you know those are those are the ways how which you should manage this venus 
दिस वीनस इन द एट्थ हाउस में इंक्रीज लॉट ऑफ डिज़ायर लस्ट तामसिक डिज़ायर अवॉइड ईटिंग नॉन वेज अवॉइड ईटिंग गार्लिक अवॉइड ईटिंग एनी थिंग इन्फ्लेमेटरी इन नेचर न दिस वीनस विल ऑल्सो गो कम्बस्ट विच मीन्स दैट यू मे बी ओवरवेलम्ड बाई सर्टन एक्सपेंसिस यू नो देर आर सर्टन एक्सपेंसिस बट यू नो इनकम इज नॉट इनफ फोर्स योर सेल्फ टू अर्न मोर वट इफ दिस क्रिएट्स एन अपॉर्चुनिटी एट हाउस इज द हाउस ऑफ सरप्राइज एंड शो दैट दिस वीनस गिव्स यूर पॉजिटिव सरप्राइज बाई प्रेइंग टू माई महालक्ष्मी बाय चैंटिंग महालक्ष्मी स्त्रोत्र लिब्रा असेंडेंट नाउ फॉर लिब्रा असेंडेंट इफ यू ऑब्जर्व वीनस रूल्स योर फर्स्ट हाउस एंड एट हाउस एंड दिस वीनस गोज इन द सेवेंथ हाउस यू माइट मिस रीड द सर्कमस्टांस यू माइट मिस रीड द इमोशनल स्टेट ऑफ योर लाइफ पार्टनर एंड दिस मे क्रिएट कॉन्ट्रोवर्सीज एंड रिलेशनशिप इशूज इन मैरिज सो बी वेरी केयरफुल दिस कैन ऑल्सो क्रिएट इशूज विथ योर इन लॉज एंड द टेंशंस रिलेटेड टू द फाइनेंशियल स्टेट ऑफ योर लाइफ पार्टनर कैन ऑल्सो अफेक्ट योर माइंड ट्राई टू कीप अ बैलेंस सी देर इज मार्स एनर्जी कनेक्टिंग विथ योर सिक्स हाउस मार्स इज अप्रोचिंग राहू एंड एट द सेम टाइम वीनस इज गेटिंग कंबस सो यू माइट फील दैट द सर्कमस्टांस इज ओवर पावरिंग यू यू आर अनेबल टू थिंक अबाउट योर सेल्फ लेट इट बी लेट इट बी फॉर सम टाइम एंड देन स्लोली एंड स्लोली यू विल कम आउट ऑफ दिस वेन वीनस विल गेन बैक द कॉन्शियसनेस वेन वीनस विल कम बैक when it will come back out of combustion you will see the positive side of your own life and this is going to break create some positive changes career changes are expected people who are involved in business should be very careful at this point of time especially when you are investing something you must work and verify your information and what work you do with someone who is an expert scorpio now for scorpio if you observe that Venus rules your 12th house Venus rules your 7th house and Venus goes in the 6th house a 6th house Venus that too which will go into combust state can create lot of relationship issues so be careful this is the time when you should focus more on your duties more on your responsibilities and this is the time when you should avoid any conflicts this is also the time when you should know your seva dharma so go close to nature try to be more organic try to connect with animals try to feed cows try to give water to birds and see what you can do on a holistic level it is a venus sun and jupiter con con conjunction happening in the 6th house which means it is more about light it is more about life it is more about being in the comfortable state in the lap of nature so don't try to be too artificial try to be very pure very uh, you know don't eat non don't eat processed food don't eat non vegetarian food try to be very light very satvik and if possible every friday chant shri suktam or any mahalakshmi stotra also you can chant lalita sahasra naam if you are facing any health issues or challenges in relationship but you need to keep your head calm because your ascendant lord is hitting hitting rahu in your fifth house this can create uh, challenges this can create struggle this can create anger this can create frustration but on the other hand this is going to be countered by jupiter which is going in your 7th house which is equally giving you guidance so mind may have questions might may rush but focus on guru's guidance focus on circumstances focus on divine guidance and you will be very happy sagittarius now for sagittarius venus is upachay house 6th house and 11th house this venus goes in the 5th house although it is combust but still venus in 5th house being the 11th lord gives you lot of income but your focus should be on productivity not on money your focus should be on how to build your brand how to give 200% in your workplace this is this is also the time when you will love your work this is also the time when you will be able to earn enough to repay your debts make create a financial ease jupiter in the 6th house will also try to establish a kind of an energy connection with venus that you are actually working towards your health so somebody who is more health focused somebody who is more money focused and somebody who is kind of trying to balance both the material side and the spiritual side will see a very positive venus transit otherwise this heat can create a uh, anger this heat of the sun you know so venus coming very close to sun and jupiter can create lot of problems related to father this can create differences between you and your father in law this can create ego clashes in your relationship 
especially in the matters of love interests what you should do is you should be polite use more of colors a lot of light therapy expose yourself to early morning sunlight you know that the first hour of the sunlight and uh, also work on your nutrients micronutrients talk to a dietitian if needed and for females who are expecting mothers you should be slightly careful because it is on the fifth house where venus is placed and venus is going not that it is going to cause any medical problem but because sun is present and sun and venus are coming together you need to take care of your health and especially your mental state try to keep yourself happy chant some stotra uh, focus on madhurashtakam that's a very good stotra capricorn now for capricorn venus rules your 10th house and 5th house now because for capricorn 10th house is career and 5th house is about relationship also 5th house is about your purva punya such venus going in the 4th house is going to bring in comforts but there will be ups and downs in your life a sudden movements that might overpower your comfort like you are in your home you have created a space and suddenly an extra work in your office comes up i think this is life life goes on like this you should not worry too much about my minor things here uh frustration might creep in because you have done so much about you know maybe taking a vacation you have just booked a vacation or you have taken a holiday and suddenly some experience goes bad here and there i think you should ignore this much otherwise you will be in lot of emotional trouble because there is no real problem because of this venus in the fourth house only thing is that you need to be careful uh, about micro disturbances also correct your sleep pattern and focus on your home vastu try to bring in positive energies try to use floral colors in your home use bring bring in lot of flowers in your home and try to allow the sunlight to come in and uh, you know Uh, your home should not be devoid of any sunlight because if it is devoid of sunlight this can create certain depression kind of emotion i'm not talking about the regions who don't get sunlight but diffuse sunlight the morning and afternoon light should come in your home so keep your curtains open and something like that apart from that jupiter is also going to go in your fifth house from the fourth house what it means is that this is going to illuminate your trine 159 so overall combination is very good the health of the mother might create a little bit of challenge but if you keep your head calm and cool you are good to go just uh, ensure that you don't buy any property or don't invest into big assets unless you have planned everything from beforehand aquarius for aquarius venus rules your 4th house venus rules your 9th house when it goes in the 3rd house it shows good things auspicious things happening in the life of your siblings Also this shows that uh, you you can gift something to your siblings you can gift something to your neighbors you will have a cordial atmosphere a cordial environment and also there can be uh, circumstantial things that will overpower your desire so say you want to do something but you are obligated to do something else i will say fulfill your role fulfill your duty before you do something for yourself also the creative expression the comedy expression especially so if you are into skit writing comedy writing if you are a script writer this is going to be a very good time for all of you third house venus is more like you, beauty comes in your hand a uh, beauty comes in your art beauty comes in your expression but this beauty will be super relative in nature because of the surya so don't do that otherwise you will be misunderstood and people will think that you are full of ego and that is exactly what you would not want especially when jupiter goes in your fourth house expanding your fourth house so have a big heart and help others because this is what this transit means Pisces ascendant you are all set for financial change Venus is your third lord Venus is your eighth lord it goes in the second house so it shows that you are doing too much for yourself you are trying to create a niche space for yourself and if people who are looking for a job change people who are looking for new roles in life this is a very good time although sun will overpower that means uh, there can be some response say you got some money but you have some responsibility before you spend that money on yourself you may have to spend that money on your duty say you have to uh, give the money to someone you have to pay the fees of someone i think that is okay and that is life you should not worry too much after all jupiter is going in your third house aspecting your trine of desire 3 7 and 
which means your desires will be fulfilled your your ambitions your goals you will reach there just that have a softer tone of voice be more diplomatic because when sun venus comes very close to the sun it is kind of uh, in a state where it is becoming very uh, angry it is it is being very sarcastic in nature so keep the sarcasm away and uh, don't give advice if nobody ask you for the advice try to keep low and allow the financial side of your life to become safe secured and sound and that should be your target in venus transit in aries